sitcom, one without a guide or a cue. No lessons from the crew. No laugh tracks so Well, I have found myself in the small town of Marble Mount on a Monday, and I have returned to the North Cascades Highway. It's been two years since I've been out here, and the last time I was out here, I went to Diablo Lake. This time, we're taking the same route, but we are venturing further to the town of Winthrop, Washington. It's been 12 years, 13 years since I've last been there. And I've been wanting to check it out for a long time. This drive is notoriously full of old relics, and it's really hard not to stop every five minutes. But if I were to do that, I'd have to make a whole video just about everything that lies along the North Cascades Highway. So making a couple of stops along the way, just photographing some things that I find interesting, but for the most part, we're gonna make our way to Winthrop today. Of course, stop at Diablo Lake again, because how can you not stop at Diablo Lake? But yeah, Marble Mount, tiny little town, a couple of shops. I'm gonna get one photo of the restaurant behind me. I love the signage and the building. Beautiful summer day in Washington. It's gonna be a good trip. One of the best parts about eating blackberries is there's a good chance you're eating some little critters in there as well. Get some bonus protein. Doing the old pre-jump depth check because you never know if some new debris might have fallen into the landing zone.
like hiking in the Alpine Lakes Wilderness area, which is kind of more central Cascades, I will say something that's very unique to the North Cascade Range is how jagged the peaks are. You get these real pointy spires that you just don't see as aggressively in the Alpine Lakes region. You do a little bit in the Stewart Range, but for the most part, these really jagged and pointy peaks are kind of unique to the Northern Cascades and it's really, really cool to see firsthand. God, can't beat it, cannot beat it. Making up for yesterday's late start with a nice 6.30 a.m. wake up today. See if we can go get some photos while this morning light's still lingering. So I've just pulled into Winthrop for the morning. It's about 7.30. Not much going on, not a lot open, but this town is so dang cool. It's about as wild west as you can get. Everything from the layout to the buildings to the signage. It's definitely a bit of a time machine. I'm gonna walk around, see if there's a few photos to grab here. Hopefully grab some food, maybe a drink somewhere. See what gets going on here in Winthrop when things start opening. I was hoping to stay in Winthrop a little bit longer because I love this town, but I just checked the duration of my drive home via the route that I'm going and it's eight and a half hours. So I got to get a move on before the day slips away from me, but there should be plenty, plenty more cool things to check out on this drive. Um, it's actually a drive that I've never done before. I've never done this section of road, so I'm looking forward to it, but yeah, let's get after it. Come on, boys, we'll see. I hope you guys understand why I have to take a photo of this. Alright, I'm going to load up another roll here actually. Do some Pro 400H. I haven't shot this in God, two years maybe. Yeah, let's, let's see what some good old Pro 400 can do for us. I'm now in the small town, very small town of Carleton, Washington, which is comprised of a general store, an old building called the Carleton Mall, an auto service shop, and an RV park. Definitely feeling some Nick Carver vibes through here. Kings and queens and aces now discarded to the fire. Every dollar, every boardwalk, every ticket on the line. Take all these tokens 
A straight on shot of this house would be so cool, but this post is literally right in the way. Let's see if there's another angle I can grab. I'll try a little something here. I don't think anybody is living in this establishment. Well, I think I found a nice little fishing spot and a nice spot for a jump in the river. Time to reward myself with a nice little dip in the water. Hopped into Lake Chelan now, which is a very, very popular destination in the summer for many Washingtonians. Tons of people out on the lake, jet skiing, paddle boarding, fishing, swimming. I've only been here a couple of times. I'm gonna walk around a little bit, see what the town's up to, maybe grab a beer. I think it's about zero beer 30 for me. So yeah, a lot of fun activities going on here. Beautiful day. We spend an hour or two in Lake Chelan. We are doing an array of film stocks on this trip. I'm gonna try out 400D. I had to dip out of Lake Chelan earlier than I wanted to. It was like 3.30 and 100 degrees outside. I'm just not built for that kind of weather. So I got on the road and started heading towards I-90. So from here on out, we're just driving, seeing what we find and hoping the skies clear up a little bit. I've always wanted to photograph these rolling hills just outside of Cleelum. The light isn't quite right, but I think it should still be pretty solid. I'm curious to see how 400D handles this kind of direct sunlight. I'm gonna get a photo of this telephone pole right here. There's some really cool contrast going on with the bright sunlight hitting it directly and then dark stormy clouds in the backdrop. So. Yeah, this is just a really interesting lighting scenario. I'm gonna take another one in landscape orientation just to have it. I'm 99% sure I'm gonna prefer the portrait orientation version, but it's always nice to kind of compare them afterwards and further hone in on the style and compositions that you like and don't like. Alright, we'll go three, two, one. Cool. Yeah, sounds good. Take care. Safe travels. Choir 
I think this will be a cool final image. This river, it's got some nice light on it. Densely packed trees on both sides. Frame number 10 of this roll of 400D. I'm excited to see the results. Okay, everybody, that's gonna wrap up the trip. This one was just awesome. The North Cascade Highway is undeniably beautiful. Winthrop is just so unique. I was lucky to spend the morning there today. True time machine, just puts you right into the Wild West. I absolutely love it. The drive from Winthrop to Chelan was something that I haven't done before, and I'm very glad that I did because it's a very peculiar piece of landscape, I'll put it that way. It seems dry and desolate and kind of barren, but there's so much beauty there as well. Grabbing a beer in Chelan was awesome, and then of course catching the sunset coming through the highway just outside of Cleelum. Just an awesome, awesome couple of days. And I'm gonna wrap it up with one last jump in the Yakima River. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Thanks for watching and be on the lookout for more adventures like this because I just can't get enough of them. All right, take care everybody. Peace. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. I'd like to briefly thank today's sponsor, which is Motion Array. Motion Array is a one-stop shop for all your video, graphic, title, animation, and overlay needs with thousands of templates for programs like After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, Premiere, and Final Cut Pro. Motion Array has you covered no matter what you're editing with. I've used After Effects templates plenty of times for Motion Array to spice up my ad integrations, funny video segments, or any time I need to display information on the screen. I also have been using Motion Array at my normal job for over a year now, utilizing the various callouts and lower thirds templates that are available at MotionArray.com. All of the templates are intuitive, easy to use and manipulate, and are very customizable. Motion Array also offers a variety of presets, royalty-free music and sound effects, stock footage, motion graphics and photos, and plugins. I can't tell you how much time Motion Array has saved me from having to create entirely custom animations and motion graphics. It really is a one-stop shop for leveling up your production quality. Use the link in the description to sign up for Motion Array and get $50 off the annual plan.